Okay, so guys, welcome back to the second video for the dermatology series. And this week we are going to be covering lichen planus. Now, lichen planus is a skin condition in which we don't really know the cause of. However, we can probably assume that it is most likely T cell mediated. It can occur at any age, however, it is more common in middle-aged people and is more so strongly associated with primary biliary cirrhosis and also hepatitis B and C. Okay, so how it presents, it normally presents acutely and it's commonly found on the flexure surfaces, so for example, the wrists, the forearms um, and the, on the legs. Now, it presents in a kind of polygonal papules which are often purple and violet in colour and there can be a thing called Wickham striae which is basically when you get little white lines and um, they're almost kind of a lacy look to them um, and the papules themselves are normally flat, they're firm to touch and they're shiny. Now the mucous membranes can um, commonly be affected and classically you know it's a kind of white slightly raised lesions with a trabecular lacy appearance. Nails can also um, be affected in lichen planus as well, which is something to know. So we bit about, you know, the histopathology of lichen planus. So the kind of characteristic um, and classic thing that we hear of in exams is an irregular sawtooth um, acanthosis. And um, we also see hyperkeratosis and hypergranulosis in this disease as well. There also be a kind of band-like upper dermal infiltrate of lymphocytes um, that you'll see as well. And on um, direct immunofluorescence, um, IgM antibodies um, can be seen. With regards to investigations, um, this is often, you know, a clinical diagnosis um, that someone that a dermatologist would um, spot diagnose. Um, however, if unsure, a skin biopsy may be carried out. Now, with regards to the management, some individuals um, that have lichen planus, their condition spontaneously resolves, and there's no need for treatment. Health limiting condition should normally last 12 to 18 months. However, patients um, may have problems with symptoms such as itching um, and therefore steroids and antihistamines may be given as well. If this condition persists, maybe stronger steroids will be given by the dermatologist and immunosuppressants may be given or phototherapy. Now, if it is oral lichen planus, then a mouthwash or spray may be given instead. Okay, so that wraps up the end of the like and playlist video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please comment, like, subscribe. And, you know, if you have any other conditions that you want to see in dermatology, please comment below and let us know. Thank you.